Um, I am. I do have small man syndrome. I, uh, <laughs> I, I, I don't know how small I am, and uh, I, I think when I walk onto that pitch, I am six foot eight and can can go toe to toe with everyone. I think, thank goodness, there's cameras that, that blokes can't hit me like back in the days. But um, Stone. okay, White gets away from the clerk and he collapses on that one. He gets here off. to see the the <laughs> replay. <laughs> Just clips him on the jaw. Yeah, Paul, it's clear. Yeah. It's on the big screen now. It's clearly contact to the head. See, Nick White's taking the angry pill, so he, he's counter upped on Kai Tu. He's, he's banged into pride. Then, then they go at it. They keep going at it. And I tell you what, he's out of his weight class, Nick White, but he's into it. Three kick. Goes the way of the Brumbies. So the answer to that is not a whole lot. As a couple... This is hilarious. The two nines going hard at it. Who has the ball? Him in possession. He says, I'm trying to place it back. I'm trying to place it back. And there's a little bit of cleaning up going on from Tim Ancy, and they go at each other in the corner post. They roll themselves at breakdown, and it's every bit of advice for the Wallabies. Chasing that ball carrier in in these slippery conditions, reacting to a half break. Add scramble for the ball, and the Blues come through, and they win the penalty. The Brumbies were in possession, and Damon Murphy has pinged the home team. Ed and... It's like a couple of punchy little bulldogs going at it. Just angry, isn't he? Faf the cook. He knows he's made the error. Just wants to make up for it. Stupid from Faf the Clerk. England will take that. Absolute. Oh, you Penalty idiot. reverse. Johnny Hill. He should know better than that, Johnny. And you play with him. And they're, put, they're just flying into it. Just leave him alone. He's a showman. Penalty from Farrell. He's off his feet. He knows as soon as you're off your feet, like that, you're going to give it away. And then straight away. You're on a warning for line out to Maul and infringers down here. Johnny Hill does that. 23? Nice, no, not a lot there. It's got to the comes in. The two scrum officers just having a chat. And you already have to start. Nick Cotter comes in. Byron comes on. And. um Proceeds to not play, I think, at the same level as Marshy. Proceeds to make a few errors. And it's just that moment where he's made that error. I'm coming off the bottom of the ruck. You let him know the, the, the cycle. Yeah, no, of a, no, you let no, him know the cycle of a World Cup, which is a four-year cycle. <laughs> and <laughs> just, it's part of your chat. Like, well, it was funny, other than that, I think we played the final the next week. Dawes tried to use that on me. I think at some point, I said, Dawes, come on, you've got to come up with some your own... You've got to come up with your own... You've got to your own Get your own material, mate. Come on, Dawes. Who's the player who's wound you up the most in your career? You know, Lee Dixon used to wind me up a lot. <laughs> I do think with nines, normally there's a bit of a level of respect where you kind of just leave each other alone. Like, you don't need to be the one... Push. You know, the push and the knee as you put in the ball. But he would just do it every time, like every time. He'd always be like, I won't give anyone any shit until he gives me shit. And then he started doing that. So then it kind of then became a per bit of a personal vendetta that any time <laughs> I played him, I just wanted to do him in. So um, <laughs> I'd go out of my way to get him. But uh, comes in, just hits him on the back of the head a couple of times before the ball pops out. That makes him drop it along the floor. And suddenly your whole pack are running forward five yards. I, you know, like as you grab a nine on the side, so say you're trying to get round the side of the yeah. scrum, and I, as a six, I grabbed hold of him, but grabbed his nuts by the side once, and had to go and have a hearing oh, for grabbing wow. his testicles. Yeah. yeah, I didn't, I didn't do it on purpose. Okay, of you did. Is it true Goody had a scrap with Austin Healy while at Leicester? We fit, I was a young kid. He was scrum off. I was fly off. I was a very young kid, probably. 19 years of age, he hated playing scrum half. Wanted to play 10 or just be the boss wherever he was. And Pat Howard was our coach. He kept picking me at 10, kept picking Austin at nine. We finished training and uh, I had the ball and I was going to do some kicking practice. Um, and Austin's like, give me that ball. Finish training, he's like, give us the ball. I'm like, no, I'm going to do some kicking. He's like, give me the fucking ball. I'm like, no, no, I've got it. I'm doing some kicking. He's like, if you don't give me the ball, I'll come over there and knock you out. I was like, Austin, you're four foot three. You're fucking weak as piss. If you want to get it, come and get it. Uh, anyway, so he came over and he tries to wrestle it off me. 
and I'm holding it. And then the ball... Mate, don't, don't wrestle a bear. Do yeah, not do wrestle, not a, wrestle bear. a big fat bear. So eventually the ball goes on the floor, fists going everywhere. Um, he gets filled in. But in his book, he writes that he put me in hospital and I couldn't play the game that weekend, which is absolute horse. Now we've got an England international scrum half. So, Danny, if you want to. Uh... Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> it's not I much of a demo. He's taller than you. He's, he's not taller than me. I can see he's not. Don't touch the penalty spot. Don't touch the biscuit on there. Don't touch the biscuit. Um, I've never really boxed before. So I put the gloves on and. It was Austin, you know, the, the opportunity of giving Austin a hiding, you know. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> it's, a, it's an easy sell. Um, I threw about five or six or seven or eight combinations and, and landed them all, and Austin didn't land a punch. And then all the rest of uh, the squad realised that Austin was going to get a hiding, and so particularly the English guys really got excited at this. And throughout this game, the very definition of taking one for the team, he's got little Stringer in front of him, who, on the charge, as O'Connor just took too long, having started his move towards the ball, Stringer knew the law, the referee says that is fair game, it wasn't a penalty, it was a conversion, O'Connor with a little wry smile, there's two points that got away. Did your parents ever worry about you playing? Yeah, look, that was a huge concern, I suppose yeah. I started when I was five or six and you know, my parents would obviously always go to watch me play and they used to get a lot of grief on the sideline you know, for putting me out there from other parents. Someone said to me, look, there's this growth hormone treatment mm. that we, you know, could recommend and the doctors would recommend. So I went to doctors and said, look, you're very much underdeveloped for your age. You're so small. This is an opportunity for you. And I was like, I was so happy with who I was. And I was yeah. playing every single weekend. I was being picked in the teams. I was, ap I was so, so small. Yeah. Like, as you can probably tell from the line out in the, in, in the national anthems, you see, <laughs> and the camera has to, the camera really has to go down on his knees to kind of see me, <laughs> and then it goes back up. I always use my height as, a, as an advantage in terms of, you know, because people never really gave me I suppose, hope in terms of tackling guys when I was younger. Yeah. yeah. That was just a bigger challenge for me and I wanted to prove people wrong. So, yeah. you know, you first learn how to tackle and you bring down the bigger guys and, you know, people kind of respect you for that. Stay on, stay on! Foley control, oh, straight on! Now, there will be no greater place in Munster history than the one reserved for the man who scores the special individual try. Stringer, Stringer, Stringer. His reputation went before him. The reputation as a passer and a chipper and a man who never...